All right, thank you, Tony. Well, it was a busy day at the Rhode Island State House. House lawmakers passing several bills related to gun control, DACA recipients, and revenge porn. And tonight we are breaking down the details of those bills. I would assume reporter Steph Machado is live at the State House now with more information. Steph? The House of Representatives passed those two gun control measures before their spring recess, also passing the revenge porn bill and a bill to help DACA recipients. These measures all now go to the Senate. Eight opposed, the act prevails. The Rhode Island House deciding authorities should be able to take guns away from people at risk of committing violence, passing the red flag bill 60 to 8, but not before a rousing debate on whether the legislation violates Second Amendment rights. It's not fair. It's a real violation of rights. The bill would let police petition a judge for a protective order to remove guns from a person who is deemed a danger to themselves or others. Supporters believe it could prevent mass shootings like the one in Parkland, Florida. That particular person who shot all those kids would have been, his guns would have been confiscated before it happened and we wouldn't have lost all those children and teachers. We want to keep guns out of the hands of people who are a danger to themselves and others. We do, but we can't do it with a flawed piece of legislation. Lawmakers amended the bill before passage to say that a person could get their guns back within 10 days if their red flag order expires. The House also passed a bill banning bump stocks, which allow semi-automatic weapons to fire even faster. Both gun bills supported by Governor Gina Raimondo and House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello. You have to do what's right for society in total, and I think these are common sense measures to protect society from people that shouldn't have guns. At a rally before the vote, Raimondo mentioning another gun proposal that Mattiello has not warmed to. Who knows, maybe we'll even get to a full-on military-style weapon ban at some point. So, keep going. A bill to criminalize the posting of revenge porn also flying through the House. Raimondo vetoed this back in 2016, but says she supports this version as language was added to say the perpetrator has to have an intent to harm when they distribute the nude photos of someone without their consent. The bill that was vetoed gave the victim much more protection. Finally, a DACA bill passing 65 to 3, allowing Rhode Island Dreamers to keep their driver's licenses even if they lose federal DACA protections. And there's another batch of controversial gun control bills still to be considered this session, including that assault weapons ban. Those bills have a much steeper climb. We will keep tracking those for you. Lawmakers now go on break. After that is when things typically kick into high gear here on Smith Hill. Live at the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.